Hi, this is Craig, and today I'm going to talk about how I moved this beautiful 1950s O'Keefe and Merritt aristocrat stove. My wife found one of these online. She's been looking for one of these for her entire life. And it's here about two weeks ago. Uh, Kurt showed up in the back of his pickup truck with this beautiful stove. And we had six strapping young ranch hands lifted out of the back of the the uh, pickup truck and they used a, uh, these, these furniture furniture straps that are used to carry very large objects and they muscled it into this kitchen that's behind the door here and we had it in the kitchen we'll show you a picture of Kurt here with the stove after it was kind of put in the kitchen <clears throat> after we realized that you know we can't have a stove that we had for her entire life uh, we decided we needed to redo the floor in the kitchen, so we had to move it back out here. And that's where where uh, this, this comes into play, as I had to figure out how to move this stove. And My wife was consulting the Vintage Stove Facebook group, and um, they had a lot of suggestions. Um, I figured out a little different approach that you might want to start employing, because it's very simple. It's very safe and all it required was I used my finger to lift this entire thing. Um, <clears throat> so this stove weighs 750 pounds. Uh, it has two ovens and a warming oven, two broilers. This broiler here has a grill elevator, three storage uh, places. The six burners that are up here, they're the double, the double burners. So there's a simmer and the outside ring and a kitchen timer and a clock and a little cooking chart and it's in it's in really good condition considering it's 70 years old so if you want to lift one of these it, it's quite a bit of a challenge um, <clears throat> uh, stoves like this are made on a uh, on a steel skeleton frame and they add these uh, beautification panels on the outside which are baked enamel and if you lift it the wrong way and you flex one of these panels on the outside, you'll chip off some of the enamel. And of, of all the kind of the wear and tear the stone, stove has seen over the years, there's a couple of chip marks down there. So we need to be able to figure out how to lift it up. And I'm going to use a furniture dolly like this one here. Um, you know, you can get this at, uh, you know, at Home Depot or Lowe's or, or get these at Carver Freight as well. I want to use these because we it's in it was in the other room we needed to move it here in the garage temporarily while we redo that kitchen um so i need to figure out how to lift it so on the front of these stoves they have this decorative base bottom part that sits on the bottom and this comes off and what you're going to see if you peek underneath here is you're going to see the skeleton of the stove and the feet that come out in four different corners. And I need to be able to lift the whole thing up and scoot a furniture dolly underneath each end to support it where it's supposed to be supported. So that's the challenge. Um, and we, then we wanted to be able to move it both out here and then bring it back in. All right, so what I ended up finding was a very pretty simple solution. This, this skeleton frame uh, rides along the front up here underneath here as well as in the back so I'm going to lift it by the frame scoot the furniture dolly in on the end and then lower it back down so to lift it up I used a common household item well it's a car hold item it's in the trunk of most cars this is a car jack this uses uh, one of the ancient seven machines called a screw and I'm just going to stick this under the stove and jack it up like it's a car. This kind of car jack on a small small car will easily lift 1,500, 2,000 pounds. So it easily we'll be able to lift this up. But this is meant to sit on a frame. So we need to have some way to secure this under the stove and lift it from the skeleton part. So I ended up <coughs> using, I'll show you how I did this, but I, I used a piece of steel and um, I'll show you how I constructed this, but basically, uh, slide this in under the stove and I bought a uh, I bought a eye bolt here 
and then I connected up a drill with my a socket on the end well we stick this over here like this there we lift up 750 pounds on this stove let me show you how I did that the width of the jack head is an inch and a quarter so I need the inside of the tube to be a little bit bigger and it is I marked the center line and then I uh, marked out a rectangle and then I checked the sizing and made sure it's going to be correct. So with the rectangle cut out of the uh, square tubing, it fits right onto the jack and actually works pretty well in this orientation here. And I got a 3 8 inch, 8 inch long eye bolt from Home Depot and used my cutoff wheel and cut out a notch out of the eye, top of the eye bolt. I tightened two nuts together on the end. I had a socket and a socket adapter to go to a drill. And then these are the furniture dollies that I chose and I secured a 2x4 to the furniture dolly and that 2x4 is set up so that it kind of pulls against the outer, ed the outer edges of the stove when the ratchet strap is tightened and then I also drilled a hole in there for the ratchet strap to kind of grab onto the, the furniture dolly. So here's both of my uh, furniture dollies with the ratchet strap and the 2x4s. We slide, simply slide the jack underneath the stove Connect up the drill, turn the motor and the stove raises and it takes about 10 seconds for the stove to raise. I uh, need to get up to about three inches high, slid the furniture dolly into the left hand side, move the jack, raised it up, slid the dolly into the right hand side, attached the ratchet strap and tightened. Okay, well you saw how I used this uh piece of square tubing and cut a little rectangular hole out of it so it fit over the top of the uh, fit over the top of the jack securely and then the jack raises from the center grabs the edges of the stove and lifts it up and we easily slid these underneath the furniture all these underneath and then we use the ratchet strap to hold the hold it all together and uh, two people can easily just slide this in and out roll it around wherever it needs to go okay well, I think that's about it for today so hey your, your wife thinks you're a genius oh and my wife thinks i'm a genius <laughs> <laughs> all right well thanks for watching <laughs>